Hey Vikes, happy Friday. I'm Haley. And I'm Kaylee. And this is your daily news. Hey Haley, have you heard about the Michael Goodman story? Um, I've heard a little bit about it. Let's go find out more information. Michael Goodman is a student here at Seaman High School. He has unfortunately had a rough time, but Mr. Elliott has decided to help him out. I met Michael first semester of his freshman year, and I didn't have him in class yet, but I'd seen this kid with a big smile on his face walking around these hallways, and uh, I would stop him and be like, hey man, what class do you have? And he goes, I'm going to have your class next semester. And then when second semester came, came along, he walked in my class and was genuinely the, mo like the happiest kid I've ever seen in my life. He w never complained, came in class. Um, and I, some people take that for granted, having a kid that doesn't complain. But I get so sick and tired of kids complaining about every little thing. And then I have this individual that I've never seen have a bad day. Um, the whole time he's in my class, he sat in the front row, answered every question, and just looked like he was having a, like an extremely good time. Michael is very fond of Mr. Elliott and all that he has done for him. He, he's really kind and helpful. Mr. Elliott was unaware of Michael's situation until it was brought up to him. A teacher came to me, what was it, uh, a couple months ago, and she said, have you heard about Michael? Um, he has a situation, he's staying in a homeless shelter, and he hasn't had his computer all year. So immediately, I think back to that kid that has never complained and is still always happy and um, has never asked for help for anybody. So I take it upon my, I just went down to the office and paid his tech fee so he can get a computer. And then I sat on it for a week knowing that Michael's at a homeless shelter and I just, I couldn't shake the idea that this happiest kid, the kid that has never complained about a single thing is sitting in a homeless shelter and it, like nothing he can do about it. So I came up with the idea of raising some funds to at least try to get him out before the holidays. And the goal was Thanksgiving, um, but we ran into some issues and we raised enough money and we were able to get him out before Christmas. The GoFundMe kind of took a life of its own, especially around the school. So um, my goal was just to raise money, get him a place to stay during the holidays. And then when the students found out, you know, I asked the students for clothes, they got him clothes. I got some sister clothes. I heard somebody got Michael a PS4 for Christmas. Michael's dad got injured and was unfortunately able not to work, and so they were forced to move into the homeless shelter. It's been a long ride, yeah. but I made it through. My dad went to the hospital, lost his job, but he got he's working again, and so we're getting out of the mission. Mm -hmm. Today's our last day at the mission. Nice. Well, last night was. After school, I'm getting dropped off and then we're leaving. He does not deserve, and his sister as well. His sister, I had never had her in class, but they were, um, they both are pretty much the same. Always happy, always smiling, um, and never complained. So, I mean, I want to help a kid like that 100% of the time without being asked. I mean, you, don't, you shouldn't have to be asked to help somebody that's never complained about anything. Mr. Elliott, along with the Seaman community, all contributed to get Michael into a home for the holidays. Wow, thanks to everyone for contributing. Now into your daily news. The speed limit in the parking lot is 10 miles per hour. Please obey the speed limit. Beginning January 7th, the ninth grade second chance breakfast is available during passing period in the ninth grade lines. All students who would like to enter in the key club's Battle of the Bands, there will be a meeting in Mr. Cromie's room E3 today after school at 3.15. Be sure to stop by the History Day table tonight at tonight's home basketball game. Enter into the raffle. There are some great prizes. This holiday season, share the gift of joy by bringing a toy to the studio for the KST Toys for Tots drive. Donations are due Tuesday, so get your gift in soon. Battle of the Bands is having a meeting today after school. Let's go find out more information. Hey guys, I'm here with Mr. Bach talking about the Battle of the Bands meeting going on later today. What is that exactly? Well, all we're going to have people do who are interested in playing in the Battle of the Bands later today are going to meet at uh, Mr. Cromie's room at 310 right after school and just express their interest um, so we can get them signed up, see if we need to do auditions or anything like that. Awesome. Is there anything else you'd like to add? 
Uh, just that, um, you know, I know the Untamed Mustangs didn't receive the pity votes last year, but I'm fairly certain that we'll win. We're working to stuff the ballot boxes right now as we speak. So, um, and we're highly skilled and we've really improved without any sort of practice since last year. Okay. Now back to the studio. Now over to Sports With Me after this quick break. Hey, you, have you heard about the Ugly Christmas Sweater Dance? What? Tell me more. December 14th, in the Commons, 9.30 p.m. after the game, and the entry fee is $5. Whoa, don't know how I got this, but I guess I'm ready for the dance. Yes, it is. No, it's not. Where's the snow? Why are you smiling like that? Smiling's my favorite. Make work your favorite. Okay. It's time for the announcement. Okay, guys. Santa's coming at 10 a.m. Santa? Santa? Oh my gosh! Donate toys for KSNT, toys for tots, and bring them to the studio by Tuesday, December 18th. Attention! 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 Calling all bands! All bands interested in competing in the Battle of the Bands! December 14th! December 14th! December 14th! December 14th! Come one, come all! Meet in Mr. Chromie's room at 310. theme for tonight's home game against Shawnee Heights. Remember the ugly sweater dance is right after and admission is five dollars. The North Nook will be open this evening at 5.30 and will close at the end of third quarter of the boys varsity basketball game. The C1 basketball team is selling socks. They're fifteen dollars a pair and you should turn in your forms to Mr. Pierce. Now over to the Josh Duncan to see what the weather is going to do on this game day. Happy Friday, and while it was a cooler end to the week, this colder weather should be retreating to the north over the next couple of days, leaving us here in Kansas with much more mild weather by the time we hit tomorrow afternoon, and especially on Sunday. And what that means for not only humans, but animals such as cows, is that they're gonna be feeling very comfortable out there. Moo moo, great weather. I'll give it a nine out of 10 for the weekend and into much of next week. Let's take a look here. Your seven day forecast shows highs in the 50s, maybe briefly returning to the upper 40s on Monday, continue through the entirety of the seven day forecast. And let's take a look beyond the six to 10 day outlook from the Climate Prediction Center shows warm weather over much of the country, at least compared to average. And here in the central US, below average precipitation. So leading up to Christmas, we may be looking at a pretty dry and mild pattern. Now, back to your anchors. That's all we have for today, Vikes. Hope to see you at the game tonight supporting your Vikes and at the ugly Christmas sweater dance right after. Have a great Fab Friday.